my ultimate weapon! Power to fuel my revenge! Revenge against Sonic! <laughs> Last of the science pole huh. thingies are in. Ready to go online, Tails? I've been ready since this crazy weather started. I've never seen anything like it. And I've seen lots of crazy things. If this keeps getting worse, it's gonna be game over for the world. Okay, Amy. Batter up. Times a million? That was the most insanely awesome thing I've ever seen. Tails, did you catch that? I saw the whole thing. I also saw that the weather in your area improved when you closed that fissure. Meet me as soon as you can. I gotta run some tests. And no, Sonic, you don't need to study for them. Tails thinks these fissures could be part of the problem, so... <laughs> This one's mine. What the? <laughs> I think Eggman lost one of his toys. Yeah, he'd make a great action figure if our adventures were ever merchandised. Oh. and tails ending consequences. Thanks for the save, guys. Those fire and ice powers come from your communicator, don't they? It must have somehow absorbed the energy from the fissure blast. I bet if I update the firmware, that'll push this fire and ice ability to all of our communicators. Awesome! We've all got the fire and ice ability now. Because science! The weather definitely improves every time a fissure closes. My scans also show traces of some kind of new element. I wonder if the two are related. What? My monitors are detecting a bunch of fissures erupting at the village! Oh no! What? I sent Sticks out to install the monitors around the village, and I haven't heard from her since. Come on! My plane's nearby! Grab that guy before he turns back into a destructive pile of random junk. What? Uh... There you are, you diminutive disappointment! Always oh, screwing up! First, you couldn't collect the rare arachnium mineral. Then you screwed up my egg bot races. Now, this island! You have one job now. Protect the fissures! How hard can that be? Keep them open! Now get back to work! Sonic! Just the little blue pest I was looking for. That is just annoyingly loud. I can't even understand what... Huh? Whoa, no fair! My eyes were closed because loudness! Fine, fine. I'll turn off the PA. Now, can you understand me? There's the blasted... Ah, there it is. You know I'm just gonna bust out of this rig and wreck whatever your dumb plan is, Egg Breath. The dumb plan is a race. One you can't win. 
to finally show the world that you're not the fastest thing alive. You'll be a laughing stock, a has-been. You'll be so embarrassed, you'll have to leave town. <laughs> and it's not a dumb plan. It's really quite ingenious. Yeah, a race? <laughs> I can race in my sleep. Snore away, has-been. Once everyone loses respect for you, you'll never want to get out of that bed again. Believe me, I know what that's like. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Wait until you see the new radium powered tech I'm going to use to make you the world's biggest loser. That's impressive. You are the cutest little whatever you are I've ever seen. Can you fetch? <laughs> So sweet! I didn't get you anything. I love you! Well, it looks like Styx is okay. Or what passes for okay in her world. Ooh. Styx, watch out! That thing is dangerous! This little guy is not dangerous. He's lovable and snuggable. And I call him Adorobot 2000. mask and spandex tights, but I'm still in if we're wrestling! No, we're looking for a robot. We think he's related to all the fissures and crazy weather and stuff. Was he a 30-foot tall, spidery-looking thing with deadly pointy legs made out of trees and roots and stuff? Well, uh, no. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. I just saw a tiny robot. Sadly, he was too small to beat up. That's the robot! Seriously? Why would you chase that little guy? One of those robots you just kick out of the way. I'm pretty sure you couldn't beat this robot on your own. Ho <laughs> ho! Challenge accepted! protecting these fissures. Why is it so important that they stay open? And why are these things popping up like toadstools on Mushroom Hill in the first place? Uh... Huh? No mystery. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> As if he had a chance. I think his chances just got a little better.
This is easily the biggest fissure yet. Maybe it's the leader. Why are you doing this? I think I can get a look at the makeup of this thing. It might help us figure out what's causing these fissures. Now these things wear makeup? I don't understand science at all. There's a lot of radiation from that new element in there. Eggman called it Ragnium when he kidnapped Sonic. That stuff can be dangerous in the wrong hands. And there's some more Ragnium radiation. And it's running away! Which is weird. Follow the weirdness! That moving radiation source is the robot we've been chasing. I bet he's covered in the stuff because he's working with Eggman. Uh, no! <laughs> yeah. Behold, buffoon bots! Ragnabot! My greatest creation! This magnificent robot will suck every gram of ragnium from the area and fuel my eggbot racers to glorious victory against Sonic! It's the scrap heap for us for sure! Looks like the boss has a new favorite. Activating ragnium magnets now! Yeah. <laughs> The magnets are supposed to attract ragnium, not this junk. Your eco-magnets are really harshing my mellow. You are made of fail. Ragnapon. Ah! I should have given you a name that befits your unsatisfactory performance, like Disappointatron 20, or Botchbot, or Fiasco 500. Or better yet, Defect. Good thing the boss is fickle. I'm leaving, Defect. The very sight of you sickens me. And get a shave! You look like a hipster with that ridiculous beard. connection to Ragnium, and it turns out I was right! He's clearly had contact with the Ragnium, which Eggman was using to power his Eggbot racers! So the question is, where did he go? Well, I sure didn't let him go because he was adorable and having his rights violated, and I love him so much! <sighs> okay, if we can get a tracker on him, we can follow him to the source of the Ragnium! <laughs> look like it's going to explode. Since we're closing the fissures, the pressure is building up here at the source. Eventually, I bet it will explode. Look! <laughs> you 
again. What are you doing back here after I sent you to the islands to monitor the fissures? A task at which you failed miserably, I might add. And you're a mess. Have you been letting somebody besides me kick you around? Defect is too good a name for you. He can't talk to a Doro by 2000 that way. Sonic and his true group for food. No doubt you let them hear, you worthless junk pile! Destroy them before they ruin my entire operation! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh! Defect! You're amazing! I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> Whoa! You have to stop doing that! Stop it, I say! You're destroying my beautiful Ratnium mine! But no! Stop it, you miserable bat! As much as it pains me to ask for help, what's happening now pains me worse. I mean, it really hurts! Somebody help me! Chill out, egg face. We got this. Sticks, come help me discipline your little BFF. Adorable or not, he needs to learn to play nice. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Defect completely ruined the mine, so it's impossible to mine Rackium here again. Anybody? No help. Oh. <laughs> Lots of help! My back is never going to be the same. Well, I suppose I should show some sort of appreciation. Here. I'm so sorry about the way I treated you. All you wanted was to give me love, and I returned that with contempt. <laughs> if I'd only known... I wouldn't have let the most powerful mech I've ever built get beaten by Sonic! Oh well. There. Now he's as harmless as a puppy. Well, I would say those words. You know, those those words I can't seem to say. Thank you! That's them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go review my insurance policy and see if it covers active bot. <laughs> Even with insurance, the deductible's gonna kill him. That's how they get you.